And hello again. This time, in this little video here, we're going to use the angle addition formula in a proof. Okay, and we are going to prove the following. We're going to take an, an equation like this. Sine of pi over 3 minus theta is equal to cosine of theta plus pi over 6. That's what we're going to prove. Okay? All right, so let's take a look here. Uh, let's set this up here on the next slide. There it is. And we notice that they are two trigonometric expressions, each one of them using uh, a sum or a difference of angles. And neither side is more or less complicated than the other. So in this case, we're going to have to work with each side individually. So we'll start with the left-hand side. All right, let's do with that first. Sine of pi over 3 minus theta. Well, I'm going to use my angle addition formula for sine. That's sine, cosine, cosine, sine. So, and write that out. Sine, pi thirds, cosine theta, minus cosine pi thirds, times sine of theta. And uh, now that I've got that expanded, I'm going to replace some of these trig expressions with actual unit circle values, because I know that the sine of pi over 3, for example, is equal to root 3 over 2. And the cosine of theta is just cosine of theta. I can't do anything with that. It's just right there. So the next, uh, so then I subtract, and cosine of pi over 3, I happen to know that that is 1 half. So I have 1 half. And then, uh, once again, sine of theta, it just has to stay the way it is. I can't really do anything with that. So, so there it is. I'll just rewrite it one more time without the parentheses here, but it's not really going to change. Uh, root 3 over 2 cosine theta minus 1 half sine theta. And that's the left-hand side of the equation. So if I can make the right-hand side now, this side up here, if I can make that side look like this, then we're in business, because when you prove something, all you have to do is make both sides of the equation look the same. So let's move on to the next slide here and work with the right-hand side. Cosine of theta plus pi over 6. So the right-hand side, just to use our little notation here, uh, if I expand this out, I'm going to have cosine theta... So this is cosine, cosine, sine, sine, cosine theta, cosine pi 6. And remember that when we uh, use the opposite uh, operation um, in the cosine. So this is plus here, and uh, so we're going to use minus here. So cosine theta, cosine pi over 6, minus sine theta, sine pi over 6. And once again, when I replace these trig expressions with actual numbers from the unit circle, I'll have... Well, cosine theta, I can't do anything with that. That's just cosine theta times uh, the cosine of pi over 6. Hmm, that's, that's right. That's root 3 over 2. And then minus over here, sine theta. I can't really do anything with that. Sine theta. And then that's times. Well, the sine of pi over 6 is 1 half. So let's just uh, kind of rewrite this in a more conventional form. Uh, root 3 over 2 times the cosine of theta minus one-half, oh boy, this is looking familiar, isn't it? One-half sine of theta. So this is what I'm saying is the right-hand side of the equation. Now, wait a second. That looks familiar. Let me go back here. Left-hand side was root 3 over 2 cosine minus one-half sine theta, and the right-hand side is root 3 over 2 cosine minus. They're the same. So, actually, we're done. I don't really have enough room here to write this all out on this little uh, iPad app here, but we have proven that the left-hand side and the right-hand side are the same, therefore QED. See you next time.